Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this one really quick this morning. It's 6 a.m. I just got to work. I wanted to start with a little haul of what I have here in this box. I just didn't want to let it like go because then I would forget what was in it. So we have a couple of the premium acrylic liquid from Ugly Duckling. This is all from AR Nail Supply. Stand up. I have a pack of 50 of the medium Ugly Duckling files, which currently are my favorite. Another monomer, a drill bit, and I can't think of what brand this is right off the bat. I'll have to check for you and pop it in here when I'm editing. I can't remember if this is an Ugly Duckling one. I have four boxes, of, two for me, two for my coworker of the Alexandria Professional Powder Free Nitrile Gloves. They're blue. There's a hundred in here. They are the size small and they are my favorite gloves. I love them. So I'm actually going to like put those away right now because the cabinet's right here. And last, I have some pink Ugly Duckling acrylic. I may as well throw that right in where it belongs right now as well. And then that's the end of the haul. So I hope I have more interesting things to show you. I feel like there's just not much been happening or like coming forward, but we'll see. We'll dream up something. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today you are joining me midday. It is 10 after one. I have been here since 6.30 this morning and yeah, we're getting on it. I have a two, three, two and a half clients left. I have a fix. Um, I'm, so when it comes to vacation time for clients, do you guys find that they end up needing a lot of fixes? Like I feel like when you get people out of their routine and they're going to the beach, they're doing things, they're at the cottage, they're at the camper, wherever they go, or even just staying home, um, <laughs> if they're having drinks, I just find that I get a lot of, Hey, I need a fix. Like it seems to happen through vacation. So just changing the routine. And sometimes people, the fill before vacation will lead them longer. So they've got a little bit more length on. And I just find that fixes are, fixes are a really hot commodity right now. Um, so I have a fix, two fills left. Yep. Uh, both all will be fairly simple. I already know the nail art that the next girl is doing because she sent it to me and it's something that we've done on her before. So uh, she's gonna get that, which is gonna be fun and fine because it was a really cute set of like palm tree kind of vacation looking nails. Um, I just got done doing my cleaning from my last client. We here in my province go green on Friday, which means I just looked up in panic because I thought I wasn't recording. Um, which means no more masks and the regulations are lifted. So that is going to mean a few things for me. Um, I'm going to take the signage down that's here, the wash your hands, use your sanitizer signage that we had to have up. They, when they inspected, we had to have it. Um, I'm gonna take that down and I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it because I am a, uh, I'm, I'm positive about the whole thing. However, I'm cautiously optimistic that we won't need it again, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, my cleaning's not gonna change because that's just a staple now. Uh, my mask I will still wear because I was actually just looking at this and I don't know if you guys might not even be able to see this, but the amount of, I still can't even tell if you can see it, but the amount of dust and pigments because I just did an ombre, so hold on. And as you guys know, if you watched my pigment saga, um, I use pigments for ombre, so it's all over me, and it stays, like it doesn't really wipe off. Anyway, um, so I will continue to wear a mask. I'm also gonna leave my plexiglass up because I paid a lot of money for that thing. And at the time, it was even more money because I wasn't making any money. So I'm keeping it. I'm gonna wear that out. I'm gonna use it until it looks like crap and I have to throw it. Um, so that's my story. 
what else am I doing today? My Alani New Shake. I got these. Love them. Especially for the busy days. So I got vanilla. Will I get vanilla again? I don't know. I would like to try another flavor before I get vanilla again. I find it quite sweet, especially on an empty, empty stomach. Like sometimes I use them for when I'm super hungry and haven't had a chance to eat. And in that case, I find this one really sweet. But those are all the things I know. I just ordered some forms off of Amazon. Say what you will, but I always forget to order them from any results I work from, which is pretty well only AR nail supply. Um, and the nail throne, but yeah, so I ordered forms. I got two new lacquer polishes. So I got the teeny bikini, which is neon and coral, and I got Irish mist, which is neon grass green, light green, I, I don't really know. It's neon though, it's super pretty. If I can find a picture, I'll try to pop one in, which is hilarious because I say it now and then, future me when I'm editing is like, why would I say that? Because now I have to go find a picture. Sorry, future me. Another thing that I've been working on the past few days, whenever I have a break, um, which is actually why I haven't filmed for a couple of days, but I am trying to go through my polishes and wipe them because even though I use them and I use them frequently, they get so dusty. So I've been going through um, putting things together like you know I love to do and there are a few things that need thrown out like I do need to do some housekeeping house cleaning but that's for another day I just wasn't feeling it it was one of those days when I picked something up to throw out my garbage and then I was like well what if I need it um, so that obviously wasn't a good throw out day but I did do all of my glitter bells glitters aren't they pretty if you haven't looked at the glitter bells glitters they are the loose glitters, so you don't have to be an acrylic tech to use the loose glitters. Um, they're amazing. They're amazing. The color selection is amazing. The quality is amazing. Like if you've purchased glitters, which I think we all have, no shame, but if you've purchased glitters on Amazon or on eBay or from somewhere like that maybe and thought, oh, well, geez, I'm not buying $10 glitters when I can get 10 cent glitters um you need to try these these are worth every penny that you have spent on them I have a whole drawer full of cheap glitters that I actually gave away to a aspiring nail artist but I I can't I can't use those anymore these are so amazing so the ingredients are amazing the ingredients like you're gonna ingest it the ingredients that they use are high quality you can tell and um yeah, so I have a discount code down below too, but there's a link to the nail throne and there's a discount code, but sorry. And what else do I know? I think that's it. I think that's it. So I'm going to let you go and I'll see you in a bit. I don't know what else we're going to do in this vlog. So you find out, won't we? Hey guys, I'm back and I have a few things to show you. So tomorrow is my dog, Molly's birthday. She's going to be five. So I got her a few things. So I got two packages of patch up pureed pumpkin. So I know I can get a can of pumpkin cheaper than these. They were, I think, a dollar something, but these are the perfect size. When I get a can of pumpkin, it ends up spoiling. And sometimes if she has an upset belly or just for a treat, put a little pumpkin on her food. So we'll do that tomorrow for her birthday. I got her a whale, which is a tough love toy. And they are, oh, I thought they were recycled, they're not. But they have a safety squeaker, which is good because she's a beagle mix and she will absolutely eat it. And then I got a, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's a N-gauge tough. Anyway, the point of it was the whole thing squeaks. The whole salon is probably actually just wondering what happened. And I got her um, like a handkerchief, which 
we're gonna wear backwards on her back, which probably is the way it's meant to go anyway. But because when you wear anything down here on her, <laughs> she freaks out. So she got a little birthday girl. I can't believe she's five. So that is what I just went and did. Now I am going to sit in my big comfy chair and maybe watch a YouTube video, maybe watch TikTok and hang out for a few minutes until my next client gets here. And then I'm all done, going home, maybe for a run tonight, not sure. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, another week, another vlog. So starting this one, just getting cleaned up, just poured today, it's coffee, just poured my coffee, gonna sweep the floor and get things arranged for a class today. I'm teaching a class today. So we are using the liquid crown practice hands and fingers and I've got to get everything set up. I'm just gonna sweep through and then hopefully have a second to sit down and go over a couple of things uh, before my I'm going to say client gets here. She is a local nail tech that is just learning or just looking to learn acrylic. So that's going to be so much fun. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I cannot wait. So let's get cleaned up and get ready for her. Yeah. Get the day going. left is to sanitize the table. Maybe we have some stuff. I just set my plexi. Let me see. Oh, there goes the room. I just set I just set my plexi and my armrest down here on the floor. They'll all have to be sanitized. Uh, before they come back up on my desk, of course, we went green this week, this weekend, the end of the week. I don't even know what day. And we don't have to actually have the plexi up anymore. But doing clients, I'm going to leave the plexi up. Uh, I just feel like it's fine. <clears throat> I f oh my God, look at the dust on this camera. I feel like it actually did not hinder my work any or me, it didn't bother me. Uh, so, let's take you back. So anyway, all that being said, I'm gonna leave my plexiglass up um, when I'm working with clients, and I'm still gonna be wearing my mask because before the pandemic, hold please, I wore a mask anyway. Of course, not as full full time as we did after the shutdown, but I wore a mask. So why wouldn't I now? And. Not only that, but the dust bothers me like more and more all the time. It's been a lot of years that I've been in it. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, so the class I'm teaching today, we're, we're touching on a little bit of everything. We're doing a little bit of art. We're doing a little bit of acrylic. We're doing, I really let the student drive the car. Like if you come in here and you say, my, I'm confident I'm picking up the proper beat. It's not too wet, not too dry. I've worked on that, I've practiced it. I'm confident I'm picking that up. Uh, what I'm not confident with is my placement or my filing or whatever. And then we won't focus on what kind of bead you're picking up. We will focus oh no, on what you need. If you want to focus on art, we'll focus on art. Of course, these classes are all being given to girls that are licensed nail technicians in my province. So it's not just Joe Blow. It's people that have gone to school and have passed their exams and are now license holders. So that's so fun and exciting. I love it. Um, today, I think we're gonna use a couple, oh, I shouldn't put too much out on this. I do wanna wipe it down again. There's a lot of dust on it from the weekend. But I think today we're gonna use two practice fingers. 
Um, I do have two practice hands here. We can definitely use either. It really doesn't matter. I thought maybe the fingers might be a little easier for today. And then I have a bare hand and she's also wearing acrylic nails. So we have lots of space to practice. So I'm getting out, no, no, I'm not getting anything out. I'm wiping off the table. into the practice finger really well then I have tips like like gel X tips or enail couture one two three go tips that we will be we can use to glue on there if we want to play around with nail art I assume we'll do the acrylic portion first so look at this hair it gets cut I think tomorrow cannot wait I'm gonna leave those it's a mess. Okay, and we have these, and some of them already have tips on them. That's cool. Take this one here. We're probably not going to need a dust brush right off the bat. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm just putting stuff away. Okay. Now, I do have a little bit of, like, literature for her, like, book stuff, but... I don't think we're gonna need it. It's not like she didn't grasp what was coming to her. She just didn't get any acrylic knowledge in school. So she got the gel knowledge, like she has the background. So we might touch base a little bit on some of the book work, but I doubt very much. Okay, I don't know how much more I'm gonna get to film today um, because you know my focus is on the student rather than on the camera. And, um, you know, sometimes I only have a limited amount of focus. So I'll probably see you tomorrow, maybe tonight, maybe when we're done. I might be able to film a little cleanup because sometimes we make a hilariously ridiculous mess when I'm teaching. So we'll see about that. Might be a tornado in here next time. Hey guys, it's the next day. Maybe even the day after that. And um, I can't remember if I updated you on how the workshop went. I meant to check the footage, but I didn't. If I didn't update you, the workshop went the best it could go. Like the workshop was amazing. The student was amazing. She is super talented and is going to do just fine. Um, so if I did already update you, future me can just erase this. Anyway, it's the next day, maybe even the day after. And I have tea. It's, I have another client coming in like 15 minutes. So that's a like typical me thing to make tea when I know it's not gonna be cooled off in enough time to be able to drink before my client comes. I do it literally every single day, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so I have put out a vote a couple of times um, as to whether you guys wanna see lifestyle and salon in the vlogs or whether you just want to see salon and every time you guys say lifestyle and every time I ask again because I'm like do you really but you seem to I did another poll on YouTube in the community whole cool thing and you guys seem to want to see lifestyle too so here we are so lifestyle past three days um so I started running a couple of months ago love it love everything about it Ate Chinese food last night because I almost always get Chinese food when I get my hair done. P.S. Got my hair done. Shortened it on this side. It was longer on this side and we made it really icy this time instead of um, warmer. So there's that. And Chinese food is right next door. So I get Chinese food. I go home. It's like 5 o'clock. So it's early. So I eat it. Which, by the way, crab ragoons and soup. Nothing like serious. So I eat it. And then I... 
um, wait like three hours before I run and still the heartburn, the heaviness, just couldn't do it. I wanted to run 5K, which is normally what I run, like two, three, four times a week, between two and four times a week. So I wanted to do 5K. Then I told myself I would do 30 minutes because I'm a slow 5K. And then I told myself 20 minutes and I shut the treadmill off after 15 because I was like, I can't do it. So there's that. I do want to start running outside. I've never ran it. Uh, no, I haven't run in the past decade outside. I used to run outside. But I tried it a few weeks ago. I woke up really early one Sunday. It was still cool, like it wasn't hot. I came in here to the salon, parked here, got on the trail. I couldn't get myself propelled. And if you run, I feel like that's a feeling that sometimes happens. Um, I, I couldn't get any forward motion. Like I just, and I ended up changing it into a walk, of course, because I tried to run and it seriously lasted 45 seconds and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't seem to get the forward motion. And um, even walking, I didn't even walk, like there's a kind of a marked two and a half K, so you can do five, like there and back. And I didn't even end up doing it because it was like, even walking was brutal. But I want to try it again because I do want to, I don't even want to put this out here, but I do want to do like half marathon distance. Of course, not right away. I understand that there's training involved, but I want to get there and I want to get there outside and on the treadmill and I've just been on the treadmill. So anyway, tonight, after work, after supper, I may come back into town and try that. I may. So we'll see. Um, I really hope it works out. But I'm watching a vlog. Her name is Chris. And unfortunately, I don't know how to say her last name because sometimes Asian names really elude me. Like, I just don't know. It's H-U-I. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have no idea how to say that. Um, she's super sweet. And I found her through looking for running videos for how to train for a half marathon. So, but she vlogs. So, and she's a Gymshark athlete, I believe. Chris Hooley? Anyway, sorry, girl, I'm butchering your name. But I fan her, so I've been watching her, have my tea. What else do I know? Um, that's pretty much it. It's like rainy day, which is why I thought it would be cool to run outside tonight. Um, I think it's supposed to stay cool. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to stay cool. Uh, but we'll see how muggy it is. And it's been, we don't have any fires going on here, but the fires from other places are bringing smoke in sometimes and yesterday there wasn't an air quality statement usually they give it an air quality statement um, and there wasn't one that i've seen anyway but yesterday seemed smoky so we'll see it's supposed to go down to 19 this evening so that's pretty cool really especially if it's rainy and then it's supposed to go back up. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I have a Glitter Bells order coming, the Unbelievable Gels. Can't wait to get them. Can't wait to show you guys. Can't wait to draw with them. I really can't wait to draw with them. That's it. That's all I know. Be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is 12.30 on a Friday. And I am waiting for my client who is actually with my coworker. We share her. So she's getting a few things done over there and then she's coming over to me. So I'm, I'm ready for her. But I was just kind of looking around and thought maybe that we would go through some of my empties. I haven't done an empties video in a while because I use the same things over and over. Like I essentially only do one service. So I'm using all the same products over and over again. So let's go through what I've used. It's it's kind of funny, actually. And I'm going to need to definitely take out the garbage after we're done. But I have this little, don't judge me, okay? I have this little basket. <laughs> and hilariously enough, there is no less than three small empty bottles of monomer, two large empty bottles of monomer, one almost empty 
bottle of Violet Glitter Bells marker, two empty gel polish boxes because you never know when you're gonna need one of those. Oh, and one Ugly Duckling empty monomer. Um, sorry, these are Ugly Duckling as well, but one of the tin. Oh, oh, it's not empty. It's fine, everything's fine. We're gonna set it up here. So what really should just be in here is the two bigger Glitter Bells monomer that I have. This is the Hema Free one. This is one I tend to reach for more often. Um, but yeah, instead it's full of that. What I do is like my clients can't see it. It's down here and I throw stuff in there because I think I'm going to make an empties video for you. And then I decide not to, because again, I use the same things over and over and it would be boring for you. So before I leave today, I'm going to put all this stuff in the garbage bag. That's already like three quarters full and take it out when I go. Okay. So I stopped you up short because my client came, but I have my half full garbage bag and I am going to put all of the empty monomer in it. But first I want to show you the rest of the empties since this is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up each one of these things as they come because I don't truly know what's even here. But there is a empty box of gloves I go through multiples of these because I wear a pair of gloves per client. And these are from AR Nail Supply. These are my favorite. So these are the Alexandria Professional. Um, they, I use a small and there's a hundred in it. And I can't quite right off the bat remember the price, but it's a good price and Kathy ships really quickly. So yeah, these are a definite favorite. Luckily, I knew enough to only keep one box just to show you. That would have been bad. I have a, oh yeah, that's really empty. I have a En Vogue Simply Color Specialty Glitter Rose Gold. Love this. Have already repurchased it. Probably have already gone through another. But if someone is doing an accent nail, this is literally like 90% of the time what is reached for. Even if I show them other ones, we usually end up going with that. The other pot I have here is the, oh yeah, it's beyond empty. The LCN Professional, obviously, Thermal Color Gel. And this is the Purple Magenta, the number six. So I don't even know if they still make these, not repurchasing, not interested, but I had them and I used to use that one. So I have an Ugly Duckling number 43. Black? Black. It's like 89% empty, but this, out of all of the Ugly Duckling colors that I very much enjoy, this is one that I didn't enjoy for full coverage. I liked this one for drawing, for line work, but I didn't like it for full coverage. And since it's pretty well gone and it was a little bit leaky, I put it in my empties. And black is like my probably most used color sometimes. So I have repurchased it a thousand times over in other brands. I have the Lacket, I have the Beaming Beauty, I have the Glitter Bells, and I have the new Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gels coming. Can't wait to do a video on those. Pretty sure everybody said that, but it is what it is. Oh, primer, and it leaked which would explain why this was stuck to the bottom of the drawer. So this is an Ugly Duckling primer. I have not repurchased because I have other primers that I use, not because I didn't like it. Um, there was something wrong with it. But I am a protein bond lover, and I also use the Ugly Duckling, which or the Glitter Bells, which is the next thing. So I have an acid-free primer, an acid-free primer, and a dehydrator that are all empty that I've used like since this. So seriously, like it's probably been in there for a while. I also have another no, blah, a number 31, and this is an Ugly Duckling 31. Hot pink, loved it, used through it. Didn't repurchase it, but for no real reason other than I have other hot pinks and it didn't really matter. So that's going in the garbage. So that's all I saved for empties. 100% certain there was other empties in between now and then, but just didn't save them. So it is now, Almost two o'clock, I'm done for the day. I have an appointment of my own. 
and yeah, then I'm done, which was my gift to me. I don't do summer vacation, but sometimes I, like if it works out that I don't have anybody that's a general schedule, so like I have people that are every three weeks Thursday at 10, every three weeks Friday at five, every whatever. If the Friday doesn't fall on somebody's appointment, then I take it off. Like if it's my random people in there, then I might take it off. And that's how I take my summer vacation. So, that's all I got for you, that's it. So make sure you subscribe because you never know when I'm gonna post. And if you would like to leave a comment, I would really appreciate that because interaction is really what grows a channel. So if you wanna drop me a line down below, thank you. And make sure you like it and share it if you will. I'll see you next time.